welcome. Today in this video session, I am going to demonstrate the flow of skill microvision IDE with a very simple program can in embedded C to blink the LED. After this video session, you will be able to understand uh, the flow of skill microvision IDE tool uh, to uh, verify your output and uh, how to generate hash codes from your written program. Uh, so, uh, follow the simple instruction, uh, simple step as shown this video and enjoy it. Here I am going to launch Kill Microvision 3. First of all, create go to project, uh, create a new microvision project. Yes. Uh, during creating a project, we have to remember that. Uh, while uh, simulating uh, or uh, simulating there are uh, too many files will generate uh, during the process uh, so uh, we have to use a uh, folder uh, that all the files uh, will be in a single folder so here I am going to our uh, desktop uh, created a new folder Blink. Inside the LD blink, I have created a project shape project one that is my project name and shave it. Okay, after that, uh, saving the project. Uh, I have we have to flag the microcontrollers here uh, in database a bunch of microcontrollers and uh, basically it's a uh, name of the company and after that we have to choose a particular mi microcontroller I am going to use Atmel so here is Atmel expand the Atmel in Atmel there are bunch of microcontrollers uh, I am going to use 89F52 80-89-S52 yes ok uh, yes I uh, we have created our project uh, now uh, now uh, the coding part uh, so I go to file new or use shortcut control plus new or we may use directly uh, here uh, create a new file so create a new file okay then in this part we will do our coding uh, before coding uh, I am going to hear uh, code in embedded C so uh, first of all we have to include its library file and, uh, for including the library file just click right click on the this area and insert the include regx51.h we have included after that coding is started ok uh, a very simple coding has inserted here uh, first of all we have included uh, regex51.h uh, that is header file uh, header file uh, then uh, um, uh, direct come to man uh, for blinking the LED uh, we have just send it uh, 01 hex code to code 0 uh, and uh, some, uh, some delay uh, it, it could change 0 over 1 regularly uh, for that uh, we have included uh, two function, uh, one function delay, delay function here uh, delay uh, after one uh, some delay and after that 
could be zero and uh, again after uh, some delay it could be one and this this code uh, should be run infinite times uh, not the uh, single time when exit from it it should be run infinite times so uh, we have inserted a while underscore one and this line will make it run infinitely uh, in actual hardware uh, it should be run infinite times until uh, the power is on uh, so next step is go to target uh, first of all save it uh, save it uh, for saving go to file and then save as save as uh, enter the uh, name of the code something say code 1 and extension should be dot c for embedded c and if you are uh, interested to write the code in assembly you have to include uh, uh, you have to put the extension dot asm here instead of c so uh, this code is in c so i am going uh, so we have to uh, give the extension dot c okay uh, this file sh should be saved in the same folder uh, where we have created our project that is led underscore bring blink save okay save it after saving uh, you will observe that all the uh, keywords will be highlighted okay and then go to target after saving your codes go to target source group one right click on this source group one and add file to the source group one okay uh, now we have to add our code in source group one that is code one add okay added it then close it okay uh, so we can see that our code code dot one uh, code one dot c has been insert uh, included in source group one okay now after doing this we have to rebuild the target for build the target uh, you may go uh, directly from uh, the icon build target or may build target using uh, right click in force group 1 and go to build target okay after the uh, after doing build target uh, the if there is there are any errors or warnings it will be seen here uh, ok uh, now there is no warning chain errors zero errors zero warning so now we can go to debug the program start or stop debug session uh, once you will click on this it will start and again uh, again uh, if uh, you, uh, we will click on this and if you stop the debugging so first of all we should start ok started evaluation version running with code size limit is equal to 2k right ok yeah now go to run uh, for running the uh, our code uh, we directly click here on the run icon or uh, go to debug and click on run or directly press F5 ok so run it run yeah now you can check the output or uh, in there are four input output uh, port uh, for checking the status uh, here uh, in port 0 we have been uh, sending alternatively uh, 0 1 and 0 0 uh, in hex code so we can go to uh, peripheral we could go in peripheral and uh, there are uh, IO ports uh, there are four ports uh, port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3 uh, here we are using port 0 so go to port 0 and see the output uh, yeah. uh, the uh, port uh, first pin that is uh, P0.0 .0 is uh, blinking uh, 
it is one for some while and one and four or some delay it is zero so it is blinking so our code is done now yeah up our coding part is done and we have uh, checked our uh, output is true uh, we may change the, the blinking rate uh, by changing the uh, delay function uh, we may change the value uh, value of the uh, length of the delay and its blinking uh, the speed will be fast and slow according to our delay functions so one thing more we can analyze this uh, this output uh, by um, logic analyzer window also uh, so um, for that we have to go to logic analyzer open the logic analyzer uh, close this one go to setup this one is a new insert uh, we are interested to check the uh, port P 0, 0.0 so we have inserted it and do it is yes feeding but uh, zoomed in so first of all zoom out yeah so you miss uh, see the output of port uh, P 0, 0.0 where we have uh, our output is there yeah absolutely 50% duty cycle and it's going on ok yeah and we cannot send this code directly to the 8051 microcontroller uh, we have to create a hex code, hex code for that uh, for uh, creating the hex code go to the open for target uh, here open for target click on this yeah uh, so go to output create hex file create hex file click on this uh, okay Various parameters are for crystal. We can set the crystal uh, frequency also. Okay. Okay. And then uh, build the target again. Yeah. Uh, see here. There is uh, creating hex file from project. Now uh, our dot uh, hex file will be created in, in the folder where we have created our project so check it check it LED blink yeah yes project one dot hacks and that is uh, our project name dot hacks it is a hack file uh, we will find this file to the microcontroller and microcontroller will function accordingly to the our program uh, so uh, sending this code on microcontroller we have a burner uh, connect the burner uh, from this uh, system uh, from the system and send this code to the burner it will uh, burn the 8051 microcontroller and work at and uh, will work according to our uh, program inserted in that okay thank you Thank you for watching.